Hi, in this tutorial, I will explain you how you can um, upload a file, probably C99 PHP file, which will allow you to um, use a shell um, to do anything uh, within a server. C99 shell is um, a very dangerous piece of PHP uh, malware. If you can upload it uh, within a site by using any sort of browse button for uploading a file, that could give you the access to that website by using shell. I hope you remember we did use Metasploit before where uh, you could use a shell to have full access to the server. Uh, this is similar thing, uh, but will be much easier. So let's begin. We will be using um, few things here. Okay, I will close few things first. Uh, I will explain you what is this. Uh, we are using DEM Vulnerable Web Application, DVWA, for this task as well. We also will need a little um, um, application within your Firefox called uh, Temper Data. So please, if you don't have it, uh, just go and type Temper uh, Data Extension and then that will take us to the right place this will come as add-ons install that add-on within your firefox because we will need it and this is this will be one of your best friend throughout the penetration testing uh, course so let's move on i will be logging on to my dvwa website so this was our dvwa web application Okay, this doesn't sound right. I have typed the wrong IP. Now, this is my web application. This is the IP address where this application was hosted. I was typing the wrong IP. Uh, so I'm using my normal admin user password. I have logged in very fast. I want to check what is the security level because what I'm about to show you, if the security level is high, that will not work. So. Um, making this security level as low security level been set up now there is a button here called upload what this upload button is supposed to do um, you will see uh, many websites does have this upload button where you can submit a file you can submit certain documents which is required for certain tasks this is a very common thing uh, for any website to have uh, and we will exploit this vulnerability by using this c99 shell now what my intention is i have uh, came to upload i will click on browse and will upload a file what file you have a um, few options option one you can have completely your own exploit written all the code you could write it down and you could uh, upload that file uh, what has your codes in there but i'm not a coder so i don't have anything like that what i will do i will download um, an exploit which is very common exploits out there uh, if you search like c99 uh, php if i say download c99 php that will take you to this website r57.gen.tr if you go to this website somewhere here around the top you will find c99 shell there are many other things you can download from here but uh, and all of these are different different types of exploits uh, for today's task i will be downloading c99 shell so when you click on that you download and after downloading that i will go to my uh, download folder you will find a c99.zip file you need to unzip it simple you just right click and extract here that's it you can unzip that file please remember i'm using kali linux as my attacking machine but you don't have to for this task you can use any machine that doesn't matter at all you just download c99 zip file and extract it make it c99.php so i have the exploit now my task is to upload this exploit 
within that web application. Once I upload this exploit within that web application, I can open this exploit to um, use it as a backdoor to access that server. So next task is to upload it within that web application. So if I go back, simple, click on browse and then find out where is your download folder. My download folder is here. This is the file what I will try to upload. See the file size is 153.3 KB. Uh, it will be useful for you in a second. So remember this file size is 153.3 KB clicking on OK clicking on upload and It's saying your image was not uploaded. Why? If you go to view source somewhere here, you will find um, da, 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 Maximum size, okay, not here if you go to the whole website um, um, view page source, sorry, I was on uh, wrong place. Max file size. So here, I just typed max, and it has given me this link. Uh, this place max file size is thousand bytes or 10,000 bytes. So our file is just a bit bigger uh, than the upload limit. Therefore, we couldn't upload this file. But many times you want to upload a bigger file. Probably even if you want to try to do a denial of service attack, you can simply keep trying to upload bigger, bigger, bigger file. And this sort of restrictions will be common for any website to give a maximum file upload limit. This is the time where we will use that temper data add-ons uh, to upload a file which is bigger than the given restriction. So I'm going back to browse again, selecting this file. Oops, sorry, I shouldn't upload the uh, click on upload button. Sorry, going back, clicking on um, this file selected file click on ok open now before we click on upload what i will do this time i have selected this file and before i click on upload i will go to tools i will click on temper data and i will click on start temper as soon as i clicked on that everything i do from this site or any other tab you have opened that tamper data will be able to um, interfere between your browser and whatever the data going out uh, when you are doing this task please um, have a look if you have some other tabs open if it does then tamper data could pick up the uh, different tab than what you are um, requesting to do so now I have the file selected. As soon as I hit the upload button, this thing will come up. It's saying that I'm trying to send some request there. Do I want to temper the data before I send the request? I will say yes. So when I say that, see this end, lots of information. What is my destination? Uh, what is the cookie? Cookie is authorizing me to do something there. Now I'm more interested on right hand side. This is post data. So from this website, all the information is going to the web server. And Tampa data has collected all of those information what is going towards the server. So once I have opened this temper data, uh, this is the information what will be taken to the web server. All this post data are the information what we have into this web page. So if I look here, I don't have to go far. Right here, I have a max file size. And here, this is the max file size what we have seen inside the code. What I will do, I will go there and I will just type um, couple of more zeros I don't care I'm just making the file size bigger now this when I click on ok what happened temper data edited the code whatever we had in this page and before those code went to the web server code has been changed so uh, in real time this 
site was saying that don't upload a bigger file like this but uh, temper data allowed us to change that total file size and as you can see that c99 file even though it was bigger than the given size it has been successfully uploaded so we managed to upload the file properly let me um, turn off the temper data now as we have done our job I will click on stop temper. I'll just keep it clear in case I need to do some more tempering later on. Close it. So we have uploaded the file. Where can we find that file? If you simply copy this path and um, go to your browser here. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. This was our root folder. So after the root folder, if I type, sorry, there's a double um, backslash if I type that that will take us to the place where C99 PHP has been uploaded if I click on C99 PHP see it is giving us absolutely a different screen and this is the shell C99 shell what you can use to talk to that server to ask that server to provide many different information for example uh, if I come here and I say PWD, what is my present working directory? It will give me a list of this present working directory is let me make it a bit bigger so that you can see it. So PWD is saying this is the present working directory. Um, if you wanted to see all those uh, password, you could say um, nano. Uh, slash etc slash password if I wanted to see the hashed value of the uh, password okay uh, sorry where it's gone uh, da, 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 da. oh sorry why did I say nano I should uh, so if you wanted to see the password you can just type cat uh, etc password click on execute and that will give me the hash value of a um, couple of password you could see the shadow file and um, any other things you would do by um, having access to the shell you could select um, certain things suid files you could search for things by using um, rgexp you could upload more exploits in there you could create a new directory you could create new files so all sort of crazy things you can do once this c99 shell has been uploaded you can go to a, a directory so and so so very quick recap what I have done first of all I uh, went to the DVWA website um, and changed the uh, sorry let me make it smaller uh, very fast I had to change the security settings to low then I went to upload I have downloaded C99 shell clicked on browse selected C99 shell PHP and before I click on upload I had to go to tools temper data uh, after going to temper data I clicked on upload and tempered the total size uploaded the file once uploaded the file I have got the full path of that file and by using c99 shell I managed to execute any sort of shell commands Hope uh, you understood the concept um, and thank you very much. Uh, this will be um, the end of this tutorial for time being. Thank you.